Hey guys, it's your girl Trudy Ann back with another F category update. But before we jump into that, I just want to address my IRCR category family. I know you're wondering why I'm not posting and giving you a timeline or giving you updates about what is happening. And the reason being is that the IR category has cleared their backlog. The embassy is back to the pre-COVID operations. And that would be if you, when you're DQ'd, you'd receive an interview letter within three months of your DQ date. Uh, you know, um, if you can recall, COVID created the backlog and persons in the IR and CR category were getting DQ'd and were waiting over a year before they got their interview letters. But I'm happy to, to report that that's not the case anymore. So now you wait three months the most after you have got gotten DQ'd. So let's jump into what this video is really about which is the f category and giving the latest updates right so um if you're new to the channel please uh, i have a video i'll link it somewhere here uh where i do an overview like a broad overview of the f category to give you like a basic understanding of what's happening i would recommend watching that video if you haven't done so because this video is a continuation so we concluded the last video with the February 2024's bulletin and now we're at March 2024. Now there was movement in all of the categories so that's a good thing and from February F1 their final action date was the 1st of January 2015. The March bulletin saw an action date of the 8th of February 2015 so there was a one month and like seven days movement for F2A the February bulletin it was the final action date was the uh, 3rd of February 2020 and that moved in the March bulletin to the 22nd of June 2020 so there was a four month about 19 days movement four months and 19 days movement in the f2a category for f2b the final action date in february was the 1st of october 2015 and that moved to the 22nd of november 2015 in the march bulletin so there was a one one month and 20 days movement and for the f3 category in the February bulletin, uh, their final action date was the 22nd of April 2009. In the March bulletin, the final action date is October 1st, 2009. So there was a six-month movement in that category. For F4, their final action date in February was the 22nd of May 2007. But in the March bulletin... The final action date is June 8, 2007. So there was a 17 days movement. So all the categories moved and that's an exciting thing for the F category. So let's move on to April's bulletin. For that bulletin, the only category that had movement was the F2A. And they moved from the 22nd of June 2020 to the 8th of September 2020. So basically two months and 17 days. So let's get into the latest bulletin that was released, which was a May's bulletin. And a lot of persons got current in this bulletin because there was a lot of movement in all of the categories. So, if you recall from April's bulletin, F1 was at the 8th of February 2015. In May's bulletin, there was a jump to the 8th of July 2015, which was a five months jump. For the F2A category in April, they were at the 22nd of June 2020. And in May's bulletin, they got to the 1st of June 2021 so that was like almost one year movement in that bulletin so about 20 days shy of a year that's a big jump 
for F2B in April, they were at the 22nd of November, 2015. And for the May's bulletin, they got to the 1st of April, 2016. So that was like a five month jump. It's a huge jump. For F3, they were at the 1st of October, 2009. They got to the 1st of January, 2010. So basically a three months movement in that. For F4, they were at the 7th of June, the 8th of June, 2007. And they got to the 22nd of July, 2007. So that was like a one month and 14 days movement. So a lot of persons got uh, current with the latest movements. And if you are one such person, please let us know in the comment section. And... Let us know how happy you are because that just means that your interview letter is maybe just a month or so away, depending on your DQ date, of course. So for the letters, letters were released on the 12th of April for May interviews. And the DQ dates, I, I think they were all over the place as well. Um, for F1, I saw days up to um, November 2020. For F2A... I saw DQ dates from like December 2022 to March 2023. And for the other categories, I the DQ dates were just all over the place. Yeah. But if you're current and you're still waiting for letters, let us know your priority date and your DQ dates and we can make better sense of the trend and what's going on. As per usual, thanks so much for watching. And I am grateful that I was able to be of assistance on this immigration journey. See you in the next video. If you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Alright, I'm gone for real now. For real, real this time. Bye bye.